Another cup of Maxwell House coffee, George? Sure. Pour me a cup, Gracie. You know, Maxwell House is always good to the last. <laughs> Drop. And that drop's good, too. Yes, it's Maxwell House Coffee Time, starring George Burns and Gracie Allen. With yours truly, Bill Goodwin, the music of Meredith Wilson and his orchestra, Loreen Tuttle, our happy postman, Mel Blanc, and our guest, Sonny Tufts. For your Thursday night comedy enjoyment, it's George and Gracie. And for your everyday coffee drinking enjoyment, it's Maxwell House. The coffee that gives you so much more for so little more that it's bought and enjoyed by more people than any other brand of coffee in the world. Yes, Maxwell House. Expertly blended and radiant roasted for rich, mellow, extra flavor. Maxwell House, the coffee that's always good to the last drop. A couple of weeks ago, Gracie's country cousin Nellie came to stay with the Burnses till she could find a husband. And she's practically turned the place into a farm. For example, Nellie got the idea that city milk wasn't fresh enough, so she got a cow and put it in the garage. George and Gracie didn't know the cow was there, and that night, as they were parking the car... Oh, George, I wish you'd put a light in this garage. Every time I get out of the car in the dark, I'm afraid I'll... Oh, why, George, that's the sweetest kiss you've ever given me. <laughs> but... Gracie, I didn't give Oh, you... now I see why you don't want to light in here, you rascal. <laughs> you want to play. But, Gracie, oh, I... Oh, you kissed me again. <laughs> George, have you been eating alfalfa? <laughs> I kissed you? Gracie, I'm on one side of the car and you're on the other. Oh, <gasps> what a pucker. <laughs> That isn't me. Oh, don't be silly. I can feel you. George, what a big nose you've got. <laughs> huh? Oh, I don't know. There's something strange here. Maybe you better identify yourself. Sing ain't misbehaving. <laughs> oh, for a minute I thought it wasn't you. <laughs> I better light a match and see what's going on here. There. Oh, my goodness, look at those eyes. It's Charles Boyer. <laughs> it's a cow. This is some more of your cousin Ellie's work. Gracie, that girl goes back to the farm tomorrow. But she hasn't found a husband yet. I don't care. Get her out of here tomorrow. ultimatum, Cousin Nellie. We've got to get you a husband today. Well, that suits me just dandy. And you know the feller that marries me gets my farm in the Ozarks. Got anybody in mind? Well, as long as you're in Hollywood, I think you ought to marry a movie star. You think I can? Well, sure. Movie stars get married every day. <laughs> Some of them get married twice a day. <laughs> Now, here. Here are some pictures of movie stars. You just pick out one you like. Well, let's see. There's a kind of slick-looking one. Oh, that's Cesar Romero. Isn't he handsome? He's Spanish. Talks with an accent. Then he won't do. I don't cotton to no critter what can't talk good English. <laughs> well, look at these others. <gasps> Say, here's a good big strapping feller. Who's he? Oh, that's Sonny Tufts. Uh, would you like to have him, Nellie? Yep. He looks as strong as a horse. <laughs> yeah, and twice as handsome. <laughs> I'll bet he stands 18 hands high. He ain't sway back none, neither. He's got a good bushy mane. <laughs> First, I'd like to look at his teeth and see how old he is. Nellie. What do 
you plan to do? Marry him or run him at Santa Anita? <laughs> I aim to marry him. You can get him. Oh, don't you worry. I'll get him. By tonight, you'll be Mrs. Sunny Tufts. <laughs> Well, George, you'll be happy to know that Cousin Nellie has picked out a husband and by tonight they'll be married and headed for the farm. Good. Who's she gonna marry? Sonny Tufts. Sonny Tufts marry Nellie? Yep. Yeah. Why, he won't look at her. Oh, good. It'll be easier that way. <laughs> Did she have to pick a movie star? Well, sure. What would the folks back in the Ozarks say if she came home from Hollywood without a movie star? That's like visiting Atlantic City and not getting any saltwater taffy. I see. If she went to Virginia, she'd take home a ham. <laughs> well, this is Hollywood, so she takes home Sunny Tufts. <laughs> takes him home, by the way, of Syracuse. <laughs> what if Sunny Tufts isn't interested? Oh, I'm sure he will be. He's a natural-born farmer. <laughs> What makes you think so? I've seen him in pictures. <laughs> oh, he'll love farming, working in the field, planting crops. And in the spring, the little tufts will begin to appear. <laughs> little tufts of what? Just little tufts. He's getting married, you know. <laughs> I see. He'll never go for this. Sonny Tufts is a handsome guy. Women are nuts about him. Yeah, I know. And his attraction for the opposite sex will be a big help on the farm. How? Well, he won't have to milk the cows. They'll come right up and give it to him. <laughs> oh, stop. Well, it'll do him good to get away from Hollywood and go to the Ozarks where they've really got culture. What kind of culture have they got there? Agra. <laughs> oh, agriculture. Aha, uh -huh, just got it. Yes, yes. And just how do you think y you're going to sell this idea to Sonny Tufts? Oh, well, oh, I've got it all figured out. Now, look. Men love to gamble. Uh, true, uh, yes, true, yes. yes. So I'm going to let him win Nelly on a punch board. Say that again. I'm he's going to win Nellie on a, on punch, a board. Yes. punch board. Only he'll think he's just won a farm. I see. Later, he'll find out that Nellie goes with it. <laughs> Gracie, do you think men are jerks? Do you think men are complete dunces? Because only if they are could this plan work. Oh, thank you, dear. You know, for a while, I was worried about it. <laughs> <coughs> well, I'm off to see Sonny Tuff. Yes? Oh, uh, hello, Mr. Tufts. <laughs> I'm, um, I'm selling chances on a punch board. It's, uh, for a very worthy cause. Well, what sort of cause? Uh, uh, uh farm relief. Uh, <laughs> if, uh, if you, you, if you win, it'll be a big relief to someone on a farm. Uh, I'm sure I won't win. Well, how much you want to bet? What? How much you want to bet? Huh? Yeah, how much? Well... Look, come on, take a punch. Only 25 cents. <laughs> <laughs> All right, if you insist, uh, there, it's punch. Now, I knew it. You've just won a farm in the Ozarks. But I haven't even looked at my number yet. Oh. Well, look at it. <laughs> Let's see. It's uh, 66. I knew it. You just won a farm in the Ozarks. <laughs> Wait a minute. I was looking at it upside down. It's, it's 99. I knew it. You just won a farm in the Ozarks. <laughs> You're a lucky man, Mr. Tufts. Look, is this farm on the level? No, it's in the Ozarks. <laughs> No, I mean, did I really want a complete farm? Will I get the whole works? Here's my address. You'll be there this afternoon, and you'll get the works. <laughs> and, uh, oh, there's something else goes with the farm, too. What is it? Well, we'll let that be a surprise. Oh, by the way, wear a tuxedo. 
A tuxedo? Yes. It'll be a formal presentation. And uh, uh, bring along a gold ring. To get a farm? Uh, well, uh, the, the ring is for the bull's nose. <laughs> a gold ring? Yeah. He's a very high-class bull. <laughs> well, goodbye, Sonny. And give my regards to your folks, Mammy Tufts and Pappy Tufts. I'll do that. <laughs> The Hills of Home. We're a great country for songs about home, aren't we, Meredith? We always have been, Bill. A fellow named Francis Scott Key helped us get started way back in 1814 with a song about the land of the free and the home of the brave. And we've been singing our praises of home ever since. Yes, home sweet home. They framed those words and hung them on the living room wall back in Grandfather's Day. And it's a phrase that'll still be rich with meaning in all the distant years to come. Makes it easy to understand why songs about home have always been such a warm and sentimental part of the American scene. And that brings to mind how, down through the years, Maxwell House coffee has become such a part of the American scene, too. High on the list of the good things we Americans associate with home is good coffee. And more people buy and enjoy Maxwell House than any other brand of coffee at any price. It's Maxwell House wherever you go. Flavors back of this popularity story, the rich, vigorous Maxwell House flavor that results from the skillful blending of these superb Latin American coffees. Manizales for mellowness. Medellins for richness. Other choice coffees for vigor. And Bucaramanga's for full body. All of which means great coffee at its flavor peak. Friends, why not insist on the best in coffee goodness, coffee pleasure? You can for just a fraction of a penny more per cup than you'd pay for the cheapest coffee sold. Just say, Maxwell House, always good to the last... Drop. Oh, George, I wish you could have seen Sonny Tuff. What a hunk of man. Vega. Mm. He looks like Mother Nature forgot to say when. <laughs> and, and those tremendous shoulders. Big shoulders? Are they broader than mine? No, but his are built right into his skin. <laughs> yeah, it's a little broader, I guess. You know, Cousin Nellie is a lucky girl. Oh, what a farmer that man will make. I'll bet Sonny Tufts never saw a farm in his whole life. Well, what's the difference? I can explain farming to him in two minutes. You. Me. Mm. Now, let's take Cousin Nellie's farm. That's a dirt farm. Yeah. Later on, of course, they can have it paved. <laughs> paved? The farm? Yeah, yeah. Then when it rains, it won't be so muddy. <laughs> the corn will grow better. How does the corn come up through the pavement? Then there's the livestock. I thought so. <laughs> Now, the first thing the farmer must do is to learn to tell the livestock from the dead stock. <laughs> That's not easy. No. The livestock Got has to be Got to be a pro to do that. Burbank. Now, every pig must have his meal on time so that he'll get fat. Well, at last you made sense. That's the right idea for a pig. Especially if he's a little short. It doesn't matter how short he is. Just... <laughs> I spoke too soon. Farmers' lives are very simple. They sow a little wheat and corn, and that's all. Also, sow a few oats. What they do after working hours is their own business. 
Well, Gracie, I've got a little TL for you. You can stop knocking yourself out because the minute Sonny Tuff sees that cousin Nellie, the whole deal is off. How dare you insinuate that my cousin is unattractive? She's an Allen, and all Allens are beautiful. Except Fred. <laughs> I'll see you later, mastermind. I'm going down to the cigar store. George may have something there. Maybe I can get Sonny Tuff married to Nellie without him knowing he's getting married to Nellie. Oh, wait a minute. Would that be fair to him? No, it wouldn't. Good, I'll do it. <laughs> Come in. Good afternoon, Mrs. Burns. Here's your mail. Oh, thank you, Mr. Postman. Say, I'm trying to think of a way that a man can get married and not know what he's getting into. There's another way. Ah, <laughs> uh, you're such a cynic. If you feel that way, why did you marry Bertha? I didn't know I was getting married. She told me it was a civil service examination. <laughs> But why are you so interested in this subject, Mrs. Burns? Well, I'm going to trick Sonny Tufts into getting married. Sonny Tufts? Mm -hmm. But you're already married to Grandpa Burns. Oh, no. Cousin Nellie is going to marry Mr. Tufts, not me. You think I'd marry Sonny Tufts when I've got George Burns? It's too silly. Too ridiculous. It's too late. <laughs> How do you plan to trick him? Well, he thinks he's won a farm, but he doesn't know that Nellie goes with it. So I'll get the justice of the peace over here, and... Uh-oh, here he comes up the walk. Oh, poor Mr. Tuff. <laughs> well, here I am, Mrs. Burns. Oh, hello, Mr. Tuff. This is my friend, the postman. Hello. Hello, sunny boy. <laughs> well, I'll see you later. Remember... Stay single. <laughs> what did he say? Uh, he, he likes the way your hair is cut. He said, stay shingle. <laughs> oh. Well, I'm ready to take over the farm. By the way, you said there was something that went with the farm. I'm, I'm curious to know what it is. Oh, no, I, I can't tell you yet. I want it to be a surprise when you get Nellie. Nellie? Oh. I think you'd better tell me who Nellie is. Is uh, All right. I, I made a slip and you caught me. Uh, Nellie is a pig. <laughs> You made all that fuss over a pig? Well, Nellie isn't just an ordinary pig. Oh, blue ribbon pig, huh? Oh, yes. Drinks nothing but packed blue ribbon. <laughs> a pig drinks beer? Oh, she's very sociable. Now, you sit down and make yourself at home. I've got to go out and arrange for a JP. A JP? Uh, uh, yes, a uh, justice of pigs. <laughs> I, um, I want him to... The justice, I mean a judge. <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> I, um, I want to check Nellie's pedigree. <laughs> I'll be back soon, Sonny. <laughs> Gracie, I came back to... Oh, hello. Hello, you live here? Yeah. Say, aren't you Sonny Tufts? That's right. I'm waiting for your wife to give me a deed to a farm. Well, I'm in time to do you a big favor. Do you know about Nellie? Yeah, your wife told me all about her. And uh, you're willing to take her? Why, sure. Maybe she'll have 15 or 20 little ones. <laughs> Uh, but you'll get awfully tired of having her around the house. Oh, I won't let her stay in the house. <laughs> she won't stay in the house? No, I'll make her sleep under the barn. <laughs> Sonny, I'm beginning to respect you. <laughs> Don't worry. I know how to handle them. If I keep Nellie full of food, she'll be okay. 
But suppose she wants a little attention. Well, I'll scratch her back with a hoe handle. <laughs> that I've, I've never heard of. Do you plan to give up your movie work and stay on the farm all the time with Nellie? Not me. I probably won't visit the farm more than once every three years. Once every three years? Yeah, then I'll go back and see if Nellie's had any more little ones. <laughs> That's all, brother. There's no business like show business. Meredith Wilson and his music. The Justice of the Peace will be here in a few minutes. George, where's Sunny Tuff? In the den. Oh, good. Now, Nellie, a girl should get married in the same dress her mother wore when she was a bride. Did you bring it along? No, I couldn't leave Ma stark naked. <laughs> uh, well, you, you can use mine. It's, uh, it's hanging in the upstairs closet. Is it long and white? Yes. I saw it the other day. Mighty pretty, except for the way it bags in the back. That was George's underwear. <laughs> Come along with me, Nellie. I'll find the wedding gown for you. You stay here, George. Okay. Boy, I sure never thought that Gracie would land a guy like Sonny Tufts, but... Come in. Hi, George. What's new? Bill, I've got some real news for you. Yeah? Gracie's cousin Nellie is marrying the catch of Hollywood. The Charles Atlas of California. <laughs> the biggest, handsomest, blonde movie star in town. George, I told you a dozen times I won't marry her. <laughs> Not you, boogeyman. <laughs> boogeyman? I was describing Sonny Tufts. Sonny Tufts? <laughs> You call him a movie star? Bill. And as for calling him the Charles Atlas of California, he's got muscles like limp spaghetti. Bill. I could lick him with one hand tied behind me. Bill, I'd lower my voice if I were you. And what for? I wish he was here right now. I'd fix Sonny Tufts. He's in the next room. In the den. I'd fi... I... The do 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 you do 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 I thought that was you, Goodwin. Oh, the dude. Oh. Hello. <laughs> Hello, sonny, old pal. I was uh, just leaving. Goodbye. Wait a minute. Come back here. Did I hear you say you'd fix Sonny Tufts? Well, uh, yes, but I didn't get to finish. Uh, what I started to say was I'd fix Sonny Tufts a cup of Maxwell House coffee. <laughs> you see, Maxwell House is rich, delicious, and mellow, Sonny. That famous Maxwell House flavor, you know, is the result of careful selection and blending of premium Latin American coffees, radiant roasted to perfection. It's no wonder, Sonny, more people buy and enjoy Maxwell House than any other brand of coffee in the world. Well, I'll be running along. Wait now. a minute. What else did he say about me, George? He said he could lick you with one hand tied behind him. Goodwin couldn't lick a postage stamp. Oh, yeah? Would you care to step outside? Yeah. Okay. Well, that got rid of him. <laughs> Shrewd move. <laughs> you know, George, I'm kind of sorry he left, though. I wanted to tell him that Maxwell House is always the very best in coffee drinking pleasure, yet it costs but a fraction of a penny more per cup than the cheapest coffee you can buy. That's why so many millions of Americans insist on Maxwell House. They know today's coffee buy is Maxwell House, the coffee that's always good to the last drop. What happened? I thought you were coming outside and fight. Well, I'd never fight around a house where there's women. Suppose I come by your house. 
Okay, any time, buddy. Here's my address. I live there with my mother and 14 sisters. <laughs> <laughs> so long. <laughs> you know, I sure have had some weird experiences today. If you think they've been weird, wait until you and Nellie yeah, find... George! Oh, you're back. Oh, yes, and just in time. Now, you leave the room, George. I want to explain to Sonny what every married man should know. Oh, can't I stay? No, no. I've given up trying to explain it to you. <laughs> okay. See you at the wedding, Sonny. I love you truly. Truly. <laughs> wedding? Who's getting married? You. Me? Mm-hmm. Now, but now, I don't can't get, get excited. Uh, don't get excited. It's just a symbolical wedding. What An do you mean? Ozark custom. What do you mean? Well, in the Ozarks, when a man becomes the owner of a farm, he gets married to the soil. Oh. Say, that's kind of a nice idea. I hope you'd go for it. And, uh, oh, here comes the girl who's going to represent the soil. <laughs> Howdy. She was chosen Miss Dirt of 1947. You didn't have to tell me. I'd have known her any place. Well, now, as soon as the Justice of the Peace gets here, I'll be over in a jiffy. I hope so. My wife is waiting dinner for me. Oh. Now, you stand here, Mr. Tufts, and take her hand. Did you say your wife? Yes. Oh. Well, as I was saying, you stand here and take her hand... Your wife? <laughs> you, you mean you're already married? Why, sure. Oh, you cheat. <laughs> you double-crosser. So, you sneaked out this afternoon and got married. I've been married for seven years. So, you sneaked out seven years ago and got married. <laughs> oh, go, you treacherous man. Leave this house. Oh, no. I'm not leaving until I get my farm and my Nellie. Well, take me. My Nellie. That does it. Goodbye. <laughs> He's gone, Cousin Gracie. The big one got away. Yes, shame on him for being married. Oh, I hate all married men the beast. I'll never let another married man in this house. I love you truly, truly. Get out, you beast. Huh? Out, out. Did I do something wrong? Yes, you got married. <laughs> Maybe you've got something. Well, Gracie, are you ready to send Nellie back to the Ozarks now? Oh, give her just one more week, George. I've got a wonderful man for her, and this one is single. Who is he? Cary Grant. Cary Grant? Mm Mm-hmm. Marry Nellie and live on a farm? Why, he's one of the most sought-after bachelors in in the entire country. Cary Grant can take his pick. Well, when he goes to the farm, he better take a shovel, too. (laughs) Good night. Sonny Tufts appeared through the courtesy of Paramount Pictures and is currently being seen in Cross My Heart. Join us again next week when we'll all be back. George Burns, Gracie Allen, Meredith Wilson and his orchestra, yours truly, Bill Goodwin. Our special guest will be next week, Cary Grant, and the following week, Al Jolson. And now stay tuned in for Noah Webster Says, which follows immediately over most of these stations. Wonderful news. Now you can enjoy good-to-the-last drop flavor in an instant coffee. Yes, trust Maxwell House to make a better instant coffee. True coffee flavor, true coffee aroma, because it's all coffee made from the Maxwell House blend, world's most popular blend of coffee. And thrifty, a jar of instant Maxwell House makes fully as much as a pound of regular coffee. Trust Maxwell House to make a better instant coffee. Instant Maxwell House, good to the last drop. This is NBC, the national broadcasting company.